Paris. Okay, we are definitely starting to push here in the south. You guys, I think, have more or less stabilized that front. Uh, Romania is starting to lose a lot. Who's this? Georges Dolion. It's not this guy, is it? Oh, it is. Pete's sake. Have we taken Aleppo yet? No, but nearly. Nearly. They're actually trying to counterattack me right now, so you should really stay here and then attack Aleppo. Dude. You come and support, and there you go. Victory. And then once we've taken those two, we can sit here and build up again. Because Aleppo was the missing piece of the puzzle. Aleppo is where I really wanted to build my roads and air force and radar. Boom. Attention. Which means that you can now rest up while we do this, this, and this, and this. Damascus is a lot less important now. Lebanon's naval base is the most important. Cool. Ooh, cut off. And then the other thing you can do is start building up your planning prep again. So let's say that your next ambition is going to be this. Well, actually, no. You have a more important job. Your job is now going to be a spearhead to there. Because if we can cut off the Caucasus from Germany and then drive down here to Crimea, we will have encircled the biggest army in history. If I can pull that off, I'll be quite impressed with myself. Attack seems to have stalled a little bit. Has it? No, it's still going. As long as Soviets are coming in to reinforce us. Which I think they are. Soviet light tank units are looking rather wimpy. The other ones are fine. How are you doing for manpower? You should be blitzing through manpower now. I mean, blitzing is increasing, not decreasing. Marines 3, Aye. huzzah. Right. Your attack seems to have come to a complete halt again. We're about to cross this river. And you can't stop me. Very nice supporting attack there, because that's stopping them from moving into here. Good, 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 good. And I can say these bits, not important. Let's keep on focus. Keep on target. Heartbreak, Manobro. And how will you cope? Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. You're going the wrong way. Dude, Moscow's here. Although I get it, actually. Bye. It's because I made your spearhead way too wide. Go for Moscow. And that was the Marines 3. Let's get the Mountain Division 2. Because apparently my Mountaineers are not strong enough yet. <laughs> Here we come. Fortunately, this has given them a bit of time to replenish down there. 
I told you to stop. Apparently not. Attention. You're holding them up. You're coming into Moscow. You're on your way. And there it is, Moscow, next door. I think we're going to need more tank support. These are some medium tanks. They are actually beating their defences every time. Here comes the support. Combined arms attack, and we're in! Moscow has been retaken. The Soviets are down to 80% capitulation. This is good. Germany's at 13 million losses now. And now I just need the Soviets to come... Reinforce all of this. Do I have enough amphibious forces to make another crack in the Netherlands? I mean, once these guys are trained, yes. But they need that training first. It's this. If Germany hadn't been doing this, I think Russia would have been a different story. Well, you guys may as well have a new objective now. Which is going to be this. We need a lot more planning preparation, though, before we can begin this. Alright, so. Rockets, upgrade those a bit more. And I would very much like to get some rocket launchers in production, please. So let's stick these at the top. Do you in times fives, and we'll say the top line. And I think we can probably reduce the number of those that we're producing. And probably those. Keep upgrading those, please. Get a staff office plan so that you can get your planning prep up and running. Yeah, Germany is definitely starting to lose some strength problems. Or well, starting to have some strength problems. Yeah, Stalingrad's occupied by Romania. And that's Astrakhan, that's Stalingrad. Further across. Ah, where is it? There it is. Heavy tanks. We have sufficient for maybe two more units. Perfect! Wait till those arrive. This little bulge is definitely getting a lot smaller. What's the official term for that? It's a... What happened to Italy? France happened. <laughs> Salient, that's the word. Alright, Soviets, are you here to defend Moscow? Because it's kind of important that this does not die. Germany, 13.2 million losses, the Soviets, 17.6. And who's done the most? France has. Alright, are we ready for this? Yes. And once we've done that, we'll have another spearhead, which is going to be Aurel. We're going to attach that one to that one. Not all of you got your planning prep done, which is a little bit disappointing, but never mind. Research. Next spec ops. Go. Cool. 
We've almost recruited everyone that we can. Alright, are you back in business? Are you still wounded? Monsieur Tassini. You are still wounded. How much longer? 36 days! Bah humbug. Well, you're still tying up a bunch of units down there, so fine. What about you? Are you still wounded? Or ill? Marie. Whatever it was that afflicted you. Looks like you're good to go. All you is good to go. See what you can do. We're about to get the marine units done, which is good. We could, in fact, get another one in too. Doesn't look like my attack out of Moscow has done very well. It's getting a little held up here. Although it is October, so winter has come. De Gaulle has been wounded. Can you please stop getting shot? Right, well, I guess this is a bit of an opportunity to sit back and get some planning preparation. How's the Lend Lease doing? Are we actually sending you anything? It's finished! Good grief! Well, I guess that means that the Soviets want more guns. Have... 40,000. Upgraded guns. Let's get the next night vision as well, which will just make us generally better at the fightiness. How's the supply situation looking? Still pretty bad down there in the south, but it's getting rather more spread out over here. In fact, we're not having any supply situations anymore, which is excellent. So now we just need these guys to basically come back from being killed. And we'll be good to go again. You've almost got organizer. How long until you... I already could. Oh, it's so annoying that you have Ambusher. I could have saved that for Logistics Wizard. Too bad. Oh, you've got zero in Logistics as well. I feel like I should switch you out for Weigand. You're not that much better at attacking than he is. And he's a hell of a lot better at Logistics than you are. Yeah, we're doing that. We're going to switch you two around. So you are going to be replaced by Weigand. And then you are going to be... Below. Aha! Marines are ready. And then you need a commander. That's really good. Brilliant strategist. Perfect. Denis Petain. And you are going to train up for a bit. Actually, no. We're going to be really ballsy. We're going to set you up here with a spearhead to here. And once we have some armor, we'll send them to support you too. Because they're still under construction.
Headphones feel weird. I'm used to watching these streams with the earbuds and it feels wrong. What's the question? <laughs> Takes time to adjust to new headgear. Takes time. Starts itching and switch over the earbuds. Yeah, like these are getting a little bit itchy, but that's just because it's quite warm in here at the moment. But you definitely get used to it. I used to feel it all the time that I was wearing headphones. Not so much anymore. Really? Russia? Attention. Oh good grief, you are having terrible supply. That's because you lost Moscow. Must I do everything? Apparently yes. In fact, you know what? We have so many angles of attack on Russia. I think I would rather do this. Are you still out wounded? Yes. 11 more days. What about you? 72 days! 72! You what? The uh, Germans just changed manpower law or something. Nope, still all out of serve and they're down to just two million, two and a half. But I really need to take Moscow back again. This is a problem. Need to wait until these two are back into position. Oh, you're out of fuel. Yeah, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? I really wish I could airdrop. Oh, Russia has an air force again. Huzzah! Something we haven't seen for a while. Don't fancy helping, Soviets. No. Too bad. What are these guys doing? ready. Almost. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, and that's more like it. Take Moscow and then you're basically just going to sit on it to make sure that the Russians don't lose it again. Please put it on some maps or something so it doesn't go missing. Come on, guys. I know you're out of fuel. As soon as we take Moscow, you're going to be in the most fueled up place in Russia. Go, 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 go. He's so slow with no fuel. Ah. Whoa, okay. But the purples, on the other hand, doing some serious work against the Turks. Two provinces away. That's it. And then the Turkish cutoff is complete. Which means it's just going to be up to you guys now to do this bit. There it is. Moscow has fallen. 
We should be in like the most well supplied location now. Nope, we're still in a terribly supplied location. Great. Attention. But better? Not really. Kind of glad that we got the uh, attrition person now. Rocket artillery upgrade has been upgraded. Or removed. Are you guys ready to do a bit of an attack? I think you probably are. Question is though, do I want you to? I don't think we need to defend no. this anymore. I think instead we can position you here to get a cutoff to help this lot. Do this. Technology. More better rockets. Are we still producing rocket launchers? Yes. Marvellous. We need more tungsten. Much more tungsten. And then with the tungsten... We can take a look at the templates. Particularly you. Support rocket artillery. Which I can actually afford. Boom. Have a bunch more soft attack. Yeah, we're getting an occupation of Turkey, which means we can actually put planes here, and hell yes! You legends! Now I just need to hold this. Um, let's go and widen this front a little bit. Up here in the north, towards Ankara. And we'll also have an ambition to go after this. Whoops. But we're not going to attack that. Not yet, anyway. Guessing that Turkey is out of manpower. No, still not. Get close, though. And the Brits are doing a bunch of naval invasions. Excellent. You know what? I think I'm going to put you in this army now. You've earned your place. Oh, and that immediately helps out your supply problems. Yeah, Wake Handle's a much better choice. Alright. You ready to attack? We shall see. This is my first use of amphibious troops to try and punch across the Rhine. And begin the liberation of the Netherlands. Once I research rocket artillery, do I use it to replace regular artillery, add it to the regulars, or use it for certain unit types? Um, depends what I'm doing. I mean, I did used to really rate motorized rocket artillery until they brought in motorized artillery, in which case it's just more expensive. Rocket artillery is really good, though, because it has a humongous amount of soft attack. So, whereas artillery is pretty nice for that, and artillery is slightly more defensive, rocket artillery is just brutal when it comes to soft. So if you're up against heavy infantry armies like Russia, rocket artillery is golden. And it just lets you have more fire output, so you can have regular artillery, rocket artillery, and AA if you really want to become dangerous, like support companies. When I said the tanks were low on fuel, is it because there's no fuel source nearby? No, it's because they were out of supply. Supply is everything. Huzzah! Rednecks, thank you very much for the resubscription. Four months now. Nice one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate your support. Right. Are you ready to attack? Almost. I'll also put you in this army. Mountain Infantry 2, done. Let's go for Mountain Infantry 3 then. To make them cry even more in the Alps. Well, they are still attacking us. And our 4,731... Nope. Yeah, that's the highest. 4,731 defense. And they're not even using a general. You do not attack 
Henri Giro in the Alps. Just, just no. Like he spent the entire war there. All right, Tasni, are you back in business? You are. Let's start making some pressure. Bobby. And you, same thing. Let's hit them from the north. So we're trying to get a cutoff here. Got one here already. And now we just need this to push down to the Crimea. We could, of course, cut across the Caucasus to get a cutoff in there, too. There's a couple of opportunities. I'm just afraid of the fact that the Soviets didn't seem to defend Moscow very well last time. Equity. Ah, you guys also need new... ...goals. Huzzah! Go this side. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't realize this wasn't actually going from the previous points. Should have known. So what you can do is you can stack up orders, and then you can basically just go attack, and then attack, and then attack, and they'll do the individual orders individually as you assign them to those plans. In fact, what you can do is Hold go off. you assign to that last one, and they'll do every stage. Your planning prep is terrible. Leader is still wounded. How long? 37 days. Then I think I'm going to do the planning prep, and then we're going to go and charge in. What I might also try and do is add these guys to it. The Bonk! Thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Maudlings. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you stack up spearheads without editing them? You can't. You have to edit them. So what I was doing here is I was basically saying once you've reached this point, then create a new one. So you create all the spearhead points, and then you use edit mode to drag and drop the line it shows you these green hashes that's the route they're taking and you basically just need to drag and drop and then drop it on the previous objective and then it will go from the previous objective rather than the start point coach duke had a question up uh, one thing i never really understood about hoi 4 is combat width would you I'd like to tell you about when a 40 width makes sense and when for example is 20 is a better choice i mean generally that's a hard one. I mean, it's somewhat personal preference. 20 is probably a better option if you have very long front lines. So if you're playing as Soviet Russia and you're trying to defend, like, this entire front, you probably want 20 width, just because you'll have more divisions and you'll be protecting more of your front. If you're fighting in a fairly tight area, like Maginot or Belgium or something like that, you can use 40 widths just because each individual division will have a much better punch. Um, you can also use 20 width with signal companies, which means you will be constantly bringing in reinforcement units. You just need to make sure that you have a very high initiative for your army so that they can join the battle before the entire battle finishes, and that way you can grind people down through strength. People can do that with 10 width divisions as well. Um, generally, I start... Oh, we did it. I wasn't even watching this. Okay, we're across. Um, generally... I start with 20s and then I upgrade to 40s when my industrial capacity allows it. <laughs> I completely missed the liberation of the Netherlands. Oh, I feel terrible now. Ha! Aha! More tanks. I'm going to deploy you in Picardy. One unit. Deploy. I'm going to have you guys actually joining this. Because this is going to be the German invasion. Alright. Are you ready yet? No. 